handle the most. So we got time for one more question or what? Yes, sir. Get it. Alex, you have nothing to do, bro. I am <laughs> tired. I need to eat. Y'all handing out candy canes tomorrow at work. You don't do shit at work. <laughs> That's I'm not true. True. God damn. Hank, she work at a non-profit. She know good and goddamn well they closed every Friday. I'm busy with the community, with the folks, okay? Damn. Man. Tomorrow's not Friday, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, I know that. I'm saying that she has one more work. Mary, stop, because you know you know, I'll overwhelm you with my wit and intelligence. <laughs> Don the Baptist with a $5 super chat. <laughs> Men are the owners. We accept the risk and liability. Men are the dominant force in society. Hmm. Anybody want to address that? Are you making sense? Making absolute sense. Shout out sense? to John the Baptist. Ro, get out the comments. Is he making sense? If that's what he believes. Is he making sense? Uh, Sure. Until until she leaves you or divorce you, and that and that really was the whole situation of understanding assets. And I agree with him. Yes, he men accept the risk and liability because the moment she divorce you, the moment she leave you, you don't have no ownership. She she can get a divorce without you signing the papers. So I, you know what I can't wait for? I can't wait for these old cycle of judges to to get out. It's been these old ass judges in the way that been condemning men in the in, in child support court and custody court and condemning men in divorce court. Once we get these new batch of judges, they're gonna be on y'all ass. I'm telling you, it's been these happy wife, happy life judges that have been fucking men over for the last 40 years. Once these old bastards get out the way, y'all ass is in trouble. Learn the law. Stop fucking females without a condom and signing the birth certificate. Before Stop you opening know. your legs to losers. Fucking <laughs> open my legs. Fuck, move on. Move on. Who, who, who put a gun to your head and made you open your like leg to I a loser? Before. Stop fucking bitches without condom and signing birth certificates. Who made you Stop open your legs to a loser? Signing birth certificates before you know it's your child. No, but, you're, but you're saying know the law. You got to know what state you're in, too. That's the law. Him, that's not that's days. not a blanket law so you it can you can get accused no, did you see the say. guy who just had the fight and what i was about to say what i was about no, to say no one one you started talking while i was talking so i was being nice right but i can stop being nice right well, so I mean, but i let you i let you ride but then you kept talking so now i gotta put my deep voice on like hey right. so the man <laughs> the man that <laughs> I can't even stay in character. I don't know how chaotic do it. Have you ain't shit for that. <laughs> but she, she started listening. I had to put my deep, sexy shit on. Yo. My voice ain't even that. Yo, in Michigan, did you see the dude? He never even slept with the girl. But she just took his name. And he, went to, he went, almost went to prison for not paying child support and all that. Because it, the, the birth certificate didn't matter. So I'm not saying you're wrong, but it, there are state-specific laws in terms of the signing of the birth certificate or not. You could just be I, accused. I was about to say, yes, you need to learn. But for most states, if you, number one, if you sign the birth certificate, it is an automatic assumption that you are the yeah. father. Okay? So in the state of Georgia, for one thing, truth be told, any of them niggas that have sex with females that are not married, you don't even have rights to those kids. You don't even have a right to your kid. And how is that fair? It's because you got to stand. It, it's not about fair, Chief. It's about learning the law before you do stuff. Yeah, and he's right. You got to stand for fraternity. Yeah. You got to stand for fraternity. Yeah. But so you, so yes, stop having sex with females because you know you want to meet her at one o'clock in the morning. You want to suck your dick. You want to have sex with her. Oh you want to God. turn her around and flip her around. And then when she's 20 ready, minutes, bro. There's 20 minutes, bro. 20 so, minutes. Can you can still get sperm through there? Let me, me, let me, let me, let hey, me get access to the sex. Though. Hold on, Gunny. Let me, let me that, that, that ain't, that ain't always on, the case, though. That ain't, that ain't always hold the on, case, on. though. Chief, Chief was about to go. Go, go, Chief. No, no, I want to put it, I want, I want to reiterate what Gunny's saying in a more delicate term. So, 
a while ago, I put a Facebook post up talking about women and something in Valentine's Day or whatever, right? So my homegirl hit me like, yo, you need to be able, you need to check the fellas about this instead of talking about the women. Bro, no, no shade, but you coming at the fellas hell, hell aggressive about men not sleeping with women without protection, yada, yada. Why don't you say something to the women who are here just giving it up to these raggedy niggas or who, men who, don't, or who, make, who don't make men put these condoms on? Like, it's cool to hold us accountable, but you got to check the ladies. I, like, y'all quick to come out of us, but you won't check your, your raggedy ass friend who has been giving pussy up all the time. Y'all worry, but y'all worry about ST. Y'all not worry about STDs. Y'all worry about getting okay. pregnant, but y'all not worry about STDs. Hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. Let, let them have that combo. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. The comment. the comment said, men are owners. We accept the risk and liability. Men are the dominant force in society. So I was answering the question of the statement. What was, and okay. so if you, want, if you want to claim risk and liability, that is on you because you are the dominant force in society. That's what I'm talking about. And on that type. note, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. I have to get to work because I have to provide as a single parent. So I will... Oh, bro, bro, nah, nah, nah. When I asked you, could you come? You ain't said you had to leave early. I need 15 more minutes, goddammit. Okay. I got I got a question for bro, too. Uh oh, sure. bro, gonna be in longer than 15 minutes. <laughs> yes, uh, well, wait, let me make sure Chief had an opportunity to respond. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yes. okay, okay. I'm, I want to piggyback off of Chief, though, because, because, bro, you, you pretty much gunning the dudes down talking about some, you know, uh, put a condom on. What about what about said men that hop in these um relationships with single mothers that have no biological attachment to the child at all, but but they're in relationships with the child's mother maybe two three years, but but then they break up. But but now said man is still liable for child support for a fucking kid that's not even his. How you feel about that? How does that happen? <laughs> it happens. That's well, yeah, what I'm saying. Married a woman or something. Right, you're only legally responsible for that child that's not bothered of yours in case you situation like he said in Michigan or you're in one of those other states or you adopt the child. So I don't know. What Even you're you don't have to adopt the child. If you've been in that child's, there's certain states where if you've been in that child's life for a certain amount of time, you are still liable for child support for that for the child. You are still liable, but you do not have, you can contest that and say, they're, they're not my child. So what are you saying? You said two yeah. or three years. Hold hold on though. You can still be held liable for a child that is not yours if you've been in said child's life for a certain amount of time in certain states. That's a fact. I, I don't know what state that is. I'll yeah, have to look that up. But if that is the case, Bub, you do hold, you have you have recourse. Gunny could look it up while me and you talking, because it's definitely a fact. <laughs> I don't want to go to. I don't want to go too far down that rabbit hole. This was like I think somebody jumped in and then we just went. Um, I that was just way. answering the response. Sorry, Hamp. I was answering the response. Yeah. If y'all are gonna say you're accepting the risk and liability, it falls on you. Yeah, I see. I see what your point was. Um, Gary S for the ten dollars super chat. Great show, everyone. John the Baptist with the two dollars super chat. Men are still the most dominant, no matter what. And I guess it makes sense if that's what Roe was addressing in terms of the accountability of having these babies out of wedlock, so on and so forth, and them not being taken care of. Mike Brown with the two dollars super chat. You don't have to sign the birth certificate. Yeah, we we definitely addressed that for sure. Um, so, one more. To with the two dollars super chat. Women love the word divorce go ahead chief no i'm 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 i'm, I'm cool with with being the, the the dominant in society i'm cool with that but as, as it pertains to this child support thing <clears throat> when it's a gentleman who is doing what he's supposed to do having his kid more than the, the majority of the time and is still required to pay child support that's that's acceptable for you ro because we're the dominant force no so okay. everybody has a history of child support. I'm not going to go too deep, but the reality is every time a child is born, the state has an account of how it costs to pay for the child. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so if you don't have any rights to your child because you're not married to the mother, they are taking account that you have to take care of the child. Now, if you have an agreement and you have a good relationship with that mother and you're taking care of your child financially, I tell people, I was on the opposite end. My mother paid child support to my father who was a single parent. So my whole thing is, 
anybody that's the single parent and the per the the parent that has the children most of the time if it comes down to the other parent having to put person on child support it is what it is but if you have a relationship with that mother and you're paying your you know you're taking care of your child you have them 50 50 you have to understand how to advocate for yourself just like she has to learn how to advocate for herself as a parent and y'all have to come together to decide that the child comes first that is just the bottom line you have to know the law the courts and you don't have agree to with know that how to advocate for yourself the courts don't agree with that the courts do agree with that no they don't I mean, I don't know. I don't know what you. I don't know what everybody a else. Woman doesn't even have to have a lawyer. You don't even have to have a lawyer because the court's gonna uh, speak for you. To, as, that is not true. If you know, it is true. That is not true. When you go to court, when you go to court, you don't have to have a lawyer as a woman. Being you, the plaintiff, you don't have to because they have that. That lady gonna speak there for you. As a man, you got to have representation. No, you Unless you can just get straight a railroad. You know the law and you know how to advocate for yourself. You don't need a lawyer because she don't have it. She's advocating for herself. She asked questions. She researched. She got what she needed by doing those things. Bro. You all need to do the same thing. No, it's already it's already in favor of, of a woman already. already. I got to prove that she's Bro, we she got to be living in custody of my uh, kids. You know what? That's what you have to do. You, you know have to what? prove that she's a, 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 a strung out on drugs in order to get custody of your kids. It's automatic in custody for, for the mother in the state of Kentucky. Now, you said Georgia may be different. In Kentucky, it's automatic for a woman to go get custody of the kids, regardless of what's going on. Oh, well, I, I don't, I, as I said, I don't know anything about that. I was the opposite. So, and for me and my ex, I was very fair. I, I think we sat down in, in reference to what was best for our children and made that decision as together. And if y'all can't do that, then it goes back to my very first question. Why are y'all with those females? If y'all know how they are? It, bro, the thing is, it's just a disingenuous question a little bit, right? People hit people with honey buns left and right all the time. When you get in the divorce, that person is your enemy. And, and men look at it like, let me concede this. I can rebuild. Let me give her that. And we need to stop doing that foolishness. Y'all do. Because it's a cutthroat uh, time. And the courts are against us in those, in those, um, in those constructs with the children, with custody, with alimony, with divorce. 100%. Because men been conceding for so long. And he got these old antiquated judges. Agreed. We need new blood in there to see it differently because they've been hearing it the same way for 30 years. That's what happens to people. I agree with you, Ham. I just, from my own experience, I can tell you five men that have full custody of their children and the woman has to pay child support and that includes my own parents. So at the end of the day, I don't know. I know that majority, I'm an outlier and the other five are outliers. Yes. But again, uh, my thing is you all have to weaponize yourself and be educated on what your rights are and what you're supposed to do and what you can do and what you're entitled to. Oh yeah, we agree with that. But you agree that the courts lean to towards the ladies. I, I agree with that. But I also think that men need to learn the law and advocate for themselves because you are the father. Yeah, uh, nobody so, disagreed. But the bad so, part is about it's automatically giving you the custody automatic off the bat. Soon, wow. yeah. I don't know. I, so right. I've done that, bro. I learned the laws. I advocated for myself. You know what they did? Raise my shit. <laughs> <laughs> with 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 written consent, written written acknowledgement wow. that I that I have the majority of the time. Some so don't that's why it's it's so I don't want to go back and forth, but but that's the, the, the point I'm trying to make is the judge the hamp's point. The judges don't care. I think it also goes back to, I don't know if it was Danny or Roe that said it, but being mindful of who you have kids with, you know, yes, women can show access to sex, but also men too. Wrap it up. Women women can, though, Alex. So women, listen, but listen, though, a woman can tell you I'm on the pill or whatever the case is. In those situations, it's every man for itself, unfortunately. Um, when that kid is here, yeah. when kids are here and y'all have to go to court, you already know, you guys have said it. Statistics have shown that the court is not in the favor of the men. And it comes back to in the beginning. Be mindful of who you are having sex with. And yes, 
in the moment, if we're being realistic, you're not thinking about, oh, I get her pregnant, whatever the case is. But it just always kills me when people act surprised when you've been hitting the chicken raw, and then when she pops up pregnant. So oh. it, so, but those same things apply are applicable to divorce, Alex. No, yeah, like when say, you, I, you, I, you I, hit I, that I, rough I, patch, you hit that rough baby, patch, things I'm go like left. Yeah, yes, no. I'm not, disagreeing. I'm not disagreeing with that. I'm not disagreeing with that. So let me be specific. Let me, because I think it does. There's a little bit more covering, and and it's a little bit more strict when you are in a marriage. But I'm talking about the folks maybe who aren't married, and you go ahead and you get old girl down the street pregnant, and then you see going through all of this bullshit, right? We know how kids are. It is a two-way street. I don't ever just think it's on the woman. I don't ever just think it's on the man. I think both of you individually have to go ahead and make a decision, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to protect myself. Because it kills me when people act surprised that someone got pregnant. And no, when I'm say, okay. Alex, that shit is just so... It just... Uh, it's the sexual it liberation is. shit that y'all champion and this feminism bullshit that y'all champion and you're talking about Oh, the woman that you are unintentionally having sex with, that you've been having sex with, and she has no intention for you either. And if she accidentally gets pregnant, you want to make sure that it's my body, my choice for women. You got 30 fucking different ways of contraception. And now you're saying, oh, nigga, wrap it up. Y'all was fucking just the fuck. And but that nigga, you knew he didn't want a kid. You knew he didn't want but, a kid already. But okay. But, but then now he got to be tied to you for 20 years. Alex, your microphone is terrible. You should just wait for me to finish because they can't hear a word you're saying. So you knew that you didn't want to be tied to this bitch for 20 years. And you knew you didn't want to be tied to this nigga for 20 years. But then, but then you get pregnant when you not have no intentions for each other. And now he got to be tied to you forever. And you talking about use a condom. That's bullshit. It's not bullshit. It's not bullshit. And I'm the, age rate, the age rate is wilding. But you know condoms is bullshit. You work in that shit. And it's bullshit that new cases are coming up every day because people do not want to go ahead and be protected. And that goes both ways. And yes, women have abundance of different realms of birth control. That is true. But also, too, as women, make sure, yo, if you're not trying to wrap it up, we're not doing that. Because I'm not trying to be in a situation. Now, we know for being realistic, when people are in the heat of the moment, everyone isn't thinking about, oh, let me wrap it, let me do this. My point is simply, I don't understand why people act surprised when you know how babies are. And then with those things, when certain consequences happen, there are there are a tier of other things that occur. You may luck up and you may get with a woman and she gets pregnant and you guys can co-parent and y'all can be civil. But then there are other situations and that's not always the case. But we have to be responsible and we have to be realistic. When you go ahead and you choose to hook up with this person unprotected, there is a chance that y'all can get pregnant. And that's the bottom line. And that's the conversation people don't want to have. I'm running for president. I'm running for president. Fuck this. It's the I'm truth. Sick of y'all. I'm sick of y'all shit. I'm going for men to be part. able to financially abort but the sad part about it y'all we're worried about these kids fuck them kids i'm worried about that shit that penicillin can't kill <laughs> it's gonna last longer than any of my damn kids them kids, them kids gonna be dead and gone and you still got that std i'll be damned you, you and me both people and my that. nonprofit. that's what i do so you and me yeah, both i'm not going to the naked head i don't i can't trust you efforts Hey, you also hey, know hey. him that you are able to give up your rights to your children. You don't. You all know that, right? Yeah, we heard so that. I didn't. I didn't I'm sorry. What yes, men. Men can give up their rights to their children. Why would we do that? What What type of man would I be? I'm right. just telling you. I'm just telling you yeah. that, like Ham said, he said financially abort. You absolutely can have that option. So let again. I don't, I don't know how that works a lot. Yeah, like. Well, I don't think a lot. I'm like a lot of men don't want to do it because of the shame that they feel they might have. But we'll go back to that original statement where at the end Don't of the day, shame. I'm not the proud of being a man and a father. Oh, I'm not giving up my kids. You're not like everybody else. Kids. You, you, you know, you're not like everybody else. But some men, some men sh should be able to have that option, even if it does make them feel. Look, make those them ain't men to me. Those ain't men. Those are boys. And then legally, you can't do that. You, you you can't give up financial responsibility. That mm -hmm. it, legally you can't do that in the United States. Period. In any state, you can't. What are, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? You She's can. Talking about, you're talking about signing over your rights, right? Yes. Right. You can, Gunny. You, look up. Maybe not in no your way. state. You can. No, ain't no way. But financially, you're still responsible. You, you can't give up your financial rights. Right 
to your children, you are not financially responsible. Yeah. You need to look at you, the law in your state. Wrong. Just because yeah, you wrong. Out, make you right. I know 10 that's, niggas in jail wrong. right now without support. You mean to tell me they could just, just give up their rights? Yes, they can. So they doing bids for no reason. They doing bids for no reason. Oh my God. Put her in a... Put him in a fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Come on. Mike Brown with the five dollar super chat. We can't vote, but should know the laws in our state. That's for Roe, because she not dating no man who votes for the president. <laughs> <laughs> her her words. John the Badge with the five dollar super chat. Feminism has distorted the views and roles on relationships. Um, the Merrick Robinson two dollar super chat. I don't believe in sex before <laughs> marriage. Man, oh man, I got a headache. Al, anything else you want to fucking? Because, 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 hey, since Alex's um organization has moved into DC, the fucking age rate has skyrocketed. So whatever they fucking teaching, I mean, it's hard. Y'all niggas don't want to wrap it up and then get surprised. When y'all coming into oh, the clinic with all the you keep blaming on the on the brother? Yeah, like y'all you we have to enter you. Like you the go you are the gatekeepers. Y'all carry that y'all carry just like we do. See y'all crazy. And in Maryland. I'm just saying. Ant brought it up. I had to just say like, what I said. It baffles. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yes, we gotta take responsibility for it, but you are the gatekeepers. We have to enter your body. You have the ultimate say so. If he don't have a condom on, he don't get none. Yeah, you have a because, choice to protect yourself and y'all gotta stop to be, being responsible for that you have a choice oh my god or to wrap it up and you yeah, made put everyone up oh my god what about how, how about telling your sisters sis if he's not wearing a condom don't let him come in that's the same let thing me, for them too I, on, let me get you. I just heard you said to tell me wrap it up wrap it up wrap it up I said the same thing. I said for women, I said if a man is not willing to do that, you'd be like, no, I don't want that. I said women have to go ahead and take responsibility for themselves, as do men. It's a two-way thing. It's not just on a man. It's not just on a woman. That's a pregnancy, and that's what STI. Period. To with the two dollars super chat, the mother has to agree. agree I think they're addressing what Roe was talking about. Uh, Coop with the five dollars super chat. The Do Better Podcast. Go subscribe, please. Signing away your rights doesn't negate a financial obligation. You can give up your rights, but you're you're still liable for child support in Thank every you. state. That's not true. I'm just that, that is true. Just put the link in the chat, okay? You just gotta like, ride that ship down to, to the bottom of the ocean. you just loud, loud and wrong. <laughs> I'm loud and wrong. Loud and wrong, like aggressively loud and wrong. Would you like to put a wager on that? She put the link in the chat. Tap it. Kevin C with the five dollars super chat. <laughs> Tap it, Gunny. <laughs> Y'all know the stats. STDs slash STIs and out of wedlock kids are more on women's side than men. Sources: CDC, U.S. Census, the Department of Health, etc. Damn. What you got to say about that, Alex? I mean, that that skewed. That could be skewed because maybe men aren't even getting tested, so they're getting that when people go into the clinic oh to get God. tested. But just you <laughs> have to acknowledge that it could be it's skewed mm. data. He's saying Damn. STIs and STDs. Women have the highest rate. If you put it back up there, I think he said STIs, and STDs are that women have the highest rate. He's in the saying, clinic. what about the wedlock oh, stuff? The doctors. Men what about the, the doctors? Wait, 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 right. wait. It's okay. Well, let let love get the floor for a second. So you're saying it could be skewed because niggas ain't going to the doctor. Okay. Um, right. How about the kids? Obviously, she can't get herself pregnant. So men are part of the out of kids wedlock too. It's a weird, it's a weird stat. Huh? He just put up. Not true. Put the stat back up. Please, please, put the, please put the stat back up. Maybe the, the super chat back up, Ham, okay. please. Okay. Mm. Y'all know the stats. STDs and out of wedlock kids are more on women's side than men. So I'm addressing this. You're saying more STDs than one thing. S- what did you say, Alex? No, I was saying they're saying more than one thing. Like, right. Not- yeah. so, I'm, so I'm addressing the two different things. So the first thing is ST- yeah. STIs. If he's saying there are more women are recorded as having the STDs and STIs than men, according to the CDC in the health department, maybe I think this is skewed because men don't normally go to the doctor. Especially black wow. people. Wait, like, Asia, if everyone if don't go to the doctor either. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, go ahead, Isha. I think if most of the women are fucking the same man, that can be true. 
because he's now he's given that Maybe. STD to multiple women. Maybe so that could be Maybe. It. that could be it. That that could be it or not. Again, because we all know <laughs> men don't go to the doctors. Re- I mean, as frequently as women, we know this. And also, then how about the second part? Huh? The second part, the wedlock the kid. Part, the out of wedlock kids are on the woman's side. Again, she's not getting herself pregnant. So the Easter's point, right? That's the thing I was more so that was more so your point though, right? Because more of the men, there's like, for example, five men getting 20 women pregnant. Is that what that was your point on that side? Mm-hmm. My point was on the STDs and STI side. It's skewed because men don't go to the doctor as much. Well, it's not proven. You're speculating that it's skewed, right? I think my point can work for both because if one man yeah. is um, passing his STI to multiple women, then then more women will have this STI than men. That could be true as well. That why that is, could be true, of course. Then why y'all all sleeping with this little, raggedy little, nigga and not making him wrap it up? A lot of men don't go to the doctor, and so you're going to well, find... That's because y'all get y'all passport and y'all and y'all mammogram. That's a yearly thing for y'all. Of course exactly. y'all don't know we do. So, so why y'all all sleeping with this raggedy nigga not making him wrap it up? Damn. God damn. Why is he not wrapping it up? Like, if oh he my it, God. It's, it's a real question. Go. I want to quote, quote Mr. Gunny. Gunny. Yeah, Accountability is kryptonite. <laughs> no, I agree. I agree. People both side need to wrap it up. I mean, I think Allison damn. said that. This both is need to be responsible. Mm. If the man wants to have sex and he doesn't want to have a kid or an STI, put a condom on. Concur. The also, oh. the woman also. Wrap, make him put a condom on or wear a female condom. Is I that concur. Crazy? I don't disagree with you, but when it goes left and the STI or the babies happen, the finger gets pointed at the man. We say you say it's okay now, but as soon as the, when, the, when the real shit pops off, it's his fault. He should have. Who said that? Who said that? Everything else. Every one of y'all. I didn't say no. You didn't say said that men are the dominant force in society. I just want to keep clearing that because that's what he said. And yeah, I mean, that has nothing to do with the kids, though. It has nothing to do with the kids. You just do the kids. Does, it does. If y'all the dominant force, y'all control everything. We're mm. we're all your. It has nothing to do with producing. It has nothing to do with producing. You yeah, you your decisions, bro. That's what that kids shit in there on just on GP, man. It's getting. It, it, it's feeling to me like now we just arguing for the sake of, you know what I mean? Like, so let me just read the super chats because y'all are fucking wilding. Ro is is being sarcastic because John the Baptist um comment it, it love somehow I don't know maybe she's a psychic. Men ain't going to the fucking doctor, so obviously these. I mean, golly, Kevin C with a two dollars super chat. I read it, Kevin C. Thank you, Kevin C. For two hours. No, nah, I'm reading it. I'm reading it. You ain't read all day. <laughs> Kevin was, C. With the two dollars. I've been reading y'all. The all data day. is the data. Stop it, Miss Love. Please. Did he say please? Oh, I added that part. Um, <laughs> Coop with the five dollars super chat. Bro, think about it. If every every man could sign away rights with no child support obligation, every deadbeat dad would. The system wouldn't exist. You're wrong, ma'am. I already put the link in the pri- private chat. I don't know. Maybe maybe him can get it to you. But go read the law. Okay. Mike Brown with the two dollars super chat. Just throw any stat away at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. But to me, wasn't you the same person who said um you used to be like, oh, if the woman get checked, then you don't have to go get checked. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And a woman nine out of ten times isn't gonna know she got something. Y'all are gonna know first. So that's what are you stupid. talking about? So does that not go along with what I said earlier? Right. The camp was like, Oh, you you're psychic, bro. You know that men just not getting checked, but you said, Oh, men just assume if the woman don't got nothing, then he don't got nothing. I'm, I'm I'm a, let me, you, wait, wait, wait. wait. Go ahead, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, so in, in that in that regard, are, are you saying that you said the men know first? So are you implying that the man knows he's burning and just don't give a fuck and is still out there knocking him down? Usher yeah. have four cases. Remember Come that. Come on, niggas. Y'all fucking with us. Usher like, have four cases. Usher. Usher had four cases. That y'all proves the point. You fucking with the same niggas over and over. He out here riding dirty. Y'all, ride, y'all getting on yeah. the ride. He he maybe, maybe, he maybe he don't got an outbreak. That's what they be saying, Hank. He don't got an outbreak this month. <laughs> <laughs> Usher so was out there, bro. Usher was out there. Find these niggas, man. 
Where y'all find me? It's at like, oh my god, this is. Yo, y'all. Stop acting cool. like you wasn't a part of some niggas' rotation. Oh, yeah. I wasn't oh, yeah. my husband, my baby dad. you right. My husband. Every time she lied, <laughs> you get put right in the back. Every time she lie about having two bodies, she get put right in the back. <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying, Will. So niggas just walk around here burning. Like, <laughs> really? <laughs> Will with a fire switch. Wait. So niggas just walk around here burning. <laughs> right. Like, like, where, like where the that. fuck they do that at? <laughs> Yo, these niggas is crazy, bro. <laughs> I, I genuinely think y'all lost it. Y'all even <laughs> ruined Alexson. She's done. But can we do say we come on? Can we be acknowledge that there are silent STDs, right? So if you don't have if men, especially because you don't like going to doctor, if you don't have the symptom, then you think you're okay, and that's how I get passed along. There are silent STDs and silent STIs. Acknowledge yeah. that. And so you yeah. could be walking around burning and not knowing. That is how a fact. The, so how the fuck we know we ain't get it from you? Not you particularly, but the girl. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you <laughs> you think because we, if we don't, don't know we the, got it. You don't. That's the point. But the point is, you, the, the major ultimate point that I made 10 minutes ago is that you don't go to the freaking doctor. So you don't know that you're burning because you're not going to the doctors. You don't like to go to anyway, but the woman does because hey. she may have her pH may be off and hey, she may think she has a doctor. bacterial vaginosis or whatever. Yeah. Some he's hey, y'all taking a risk burning. and you're not using condoms. So why how you do make, we why you ain't make a music condom, condom, Alex? You said what? Huh? Why you ain't make a music condom? Huh? You're not talking to me. I'm just in general. Why y'all don't make a music condom? Huh? I'm married. Huh? Unless you're asking the wrong person. It feels good. No, 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 no. What I see come up in there left and right, you better use a condom. You better use one. And listen, after the third time, I guarantee none of y'all niggas moved to People use People thinking it's a regular sore right. throat whole time they got gonorrhea in their throat. Get out of here. <laughs> y'all are in the DMV area. Please be careful. Please be careful. Amen. Listen, uh, what did Gunny say earlier, Chief? Nothing. Uh, as if, um, uh, accountability, accountability is accountability is kryptonite. Jesus Christ. That's the best thing he said all night. <laughs> hey, hey, man, man made a point. Take, you can take that, take that home with you. Man made a point. Valid one. I <laughs> Yo, man. Green. Like man. I didn't even get to the question. It's Bub fault, I think. <laughs> no, nah, I think Asia was wanted to interject that one last point in that conversation just went. I think she stopped. Me. Went, the man. world's problems lay on my shoulders. Yes. We've been on pretending for the past two hours. I've been chilling tonight. I wanted to get that last question, but I think I think we done burnt it to smithereens, man. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> I've um I've lost a little bit of hope for our, the world after this last 30 minutes, mostly because of Roe. I know 10 niggas in jail right now. <laughs> I need to call them in the That's their fault. Because Ro just telling them shit. We're going to go right in front of the judge. They're like, who told you that? They're like, Ro. They're like, nah. <laughs> she that ass Ro. Hey, I want to relinquish my rights. Judge going to be like, what you mean? I want to relinquish my rights. Yeah, man. It just, that would just be too easy to go. It that makes too much money, right. man. You're right. You know. and, and I don't think that men really want to do that. Like Hank said, y'all not trying to really do that. Right? Man. Because it would be embarrassing. It would be like, what do you mean? But I tell you, you do it a lot. Hmm. Women. White men. <laughs> white men do it a lot. White women, white men do it a lot. Yeah. Uh I just uh, just a financial thing, man. Um, Coop said you dead ass wrong, but you still going. <laughs> Yo, I love the chat. These niggas is legendary, man. Damn, man, it's been an interesting conversation. I got so many more questions, and I feel like after the conversation, I'm left with even more questions. Um, okay, let me ask just one question yes or no. Look at Alex. I don't give a damn, nigga. You working nonprofit. You don't got nothing to do for the next two weeks. <laughs> well, damn, y'all broke until y'all get funded in, in the third quarter. Just relax. <laughs> damn, that cubicle. Ad. So, I just want to ask, less or no? <laughs> oh no, who's the prize, men or women? Chief. 
Look at El, Sen <laughs> El Senor. Gunny. Men. Bub. The man. Ro. They say in the comments, the man, because they got the final say. What do you say, Ro? Come on, man. Men. Men. It, men it, that's what it is. Are you being genuine? Because they are the runners. They are dominant over society. That is the truth. So you were saying men or are you saying the comments say men? I am saying men. Word, you, word is born. It stops with them. Word is born. So articulate. Yes. It starts with men. That sperm. That I don't believe them. <laughs> it, it is it's, word is born. it's a struggle. Word is born. It's a struggle for her to say. Yeah. She can't Grip even say word is born. I ain't fucking with that. Say word is born. <laughs> That's wild, Alex. It's men. Isha, a good man, yes. Hank, huh? Don't try to change. Hold on, hold on, Hank. Don't try to change my question. I I know that you try to add a um good, a good or something. Man, yes. A man of price. A man. Listen, let me tell you this. She's regressing. Go ahead. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I said these niggas, man. Yo, you should have got influenced by Alex bullshit tonight. No, man. yes, they're not the right. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna put Isha back in rehab. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, the men, the men. Yeah. yeah, love. Don't let me down. Both. Cue the button. Cue the button. <laughs> put, put, put him in the fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. <laughs> Y'all funny as hell, man. Damn. Oh, man. I had a good time, man. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. Uh, Isha, I will remember to turn Gunny Mike down <laughs> before we get started. <laughs> oh, man. Listen. This has been awesome. Let me just hit a few things real quick. <clears throat> DirectionCYOP.com. Please go to the website. Um, I see I got the hat on. We major. Bub got the hat on. Uh, excuse me, the shirt with the unfamous and all that. Yeah, support your um, people. I got them in all flavors, Hank. You know what I mean? The message is always in the cloth, you know? Choose your own path. So the link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. If it's not in the description, I'll make sure it is in the description. Hit that like button for us. That's what helps the channel the most. Check out the merch from This Might Be Risky. We got the shit like that. And, of course, the shirt that Isha has on. Isha has on. Good God almighty, man. Hey, Took you long is. enough. All right. Put your <laughs> put your shirt back down, nigga. What the fuck wrong too? Um, Made me lose my train of thought. God damn it. All right, that's enough. Your tongue back in your mouth. What the fuck? Is Yo, man. I swear. <laughs> you be I'm tired. Come on. You still talking. Well, you the one goddamn doing your OnlyFans shit on YouTube. All right, man. You know what? Fuck, fuck, fuck the links, man. Don't hit none of the links. Um, I don't really fuck. <laughs> I don't fuck with Jerry Springer, but I do like one of his constructs. Gunny. Final thought. You on mute. You on mute. Is he on mute? Hey, my bad, fellas. Hey, hey, salute to the whole panel. Go to directionsyop.com. Support Bob. Salute to the rest of the uh, panel. Salute. Bro. Hey, it's your boy, Ro. Men need to protect themselves because as the prize, your children and women rely on you to be at your best. Word. Bug. Uh, salute, salute, everybody. A. Hey, um, men, make sure you do recognize that you are the prize. And as Father Day uh, approaches us, don't take no for an answer. Let's get it. Word. Alex. Gunny, you were trying it tonight, but you know it's all us. No shit. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, but all in all, men, you are the prize, especially black men. Don't let anyone tell you any different. Um, but responsibility and accountability, I love what you said, is accountability is kryptonite. That goes to two way street, men and women, be accountable for yourselves. I don't think we are enough. And like I said before, wrap it up. And if he doesn't want to put a condom on, 
Get the shit in the end. Word. <laughs> Hink. Hey, man, black man, protect yourself at all times. Whether you have to get in somebody's Zoom meeting or somebody's couch, man, get your mental right. Make sure you get your blood working on them. You know, A1, A1C and on them. Make sure you do that. Diabetes and, and, and heart disease is the biggest killer amongst black men. From a man of uh, more mature and seasoned age, go get your colonoscopies and your prostate check. Make sure you do it. Happy Father's Day out there to every black man out there. Word. Chief? My sentiments exactly. Fellas, go to the doctors. Happy Father's Day. Shout out to the panel. Word. Love? Accountability goes both ways, men and women. It's important to be accountable in your actions. Um, men and women are each other's assets, greatest assets. A good man and a good woman are um, each other's greatest assets that you can have. Men go to the doctor. Um, health is wealth. Women continue to go to the doctor. Health is wealth. Self-care is also very important. So is mental health. That's also a very important part of the checkups that we all need to do. Happy Father's Day, y'all. Word. Yeah, I want to say um, shout out to that particular skill that Asia has where she's not afraid to stand on it regardless of who with her or against her. I know there's a lot of people out here who can't do that or are afraid to do it. They get caught in echo chambers. So I want to make sure I acknowledge that. Not saying you guys, I think you guys say what the, the fuck you mean, which is why I asked you guys to come up here. But generally speaking, a lot of people don't have that type of heart. You know what I mean? Just to be 100 percent honest. Um, I think if you look at your man <clears throat> as the prize and he looks at you as his greatest asset, I think that's where we could be most successful. Right. Because he's not going to relinquish said asset. He's going to make sure that asset is well taken care of. And then that asset asset does nothing but boost his value continuously and i think that's how we feed each other um i think in the best way in the most organized and structured way um because it's just going to be hard if everybody's everything and we are both in two way it just doesn't work that well that way i play my role you play yours i think we'll be uberly successful you know damn interesting man like share subscribe tell a friend and tell a friend and we out